Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Oh my gosh, I am so happy and so excited to be bringing you my coronation coverage. We're here, we made it to London safely. I am the happiest person in the whole world. I feel like I brought you all with me on this amazing trip that is a dream come true of mine. And let me just go ahead and give you some spoilers, you guys. We've only been in London a mere hours. That's why I sound like this. I am exhausted. I was too excited to sleep on the plane. Oh, and also I brought my travel mic, so I do sound different. I apologize. Doesn't matter. I brought you guys with me. You know what I mean? I feel like you traveled with me and we're here experiencing all these things together. And oh, you all made it possible. I'm just so glad you're here and so thankful for each and every one of you. I really am. Um, but let me tell you some highlights. Just a couple hours here. And can you believe it? You ready? We saw the king. We saw Charles. I got it on film. I'm so excited. Um, and and we're going to talk about it. I got the moment on. I, don't know, I can't even believe it. And then, you guys, this might be a surprise. Because I put out the thing about seeing Charles in a short. I haven't put this out yet. We saw Anne. We saw Princess Anne. Oh my god, you know she's one of my favorite. I I may or may not have cried a little bit when I saw her. But I got to see Princess Anne. She was just riding along in her car. She had the police escorts and all this. And when the crowd realized who it was, you could just hear every everything changed. And they start saying, Anne! It was so cool. Um, what else? Oh my god. And, drum roll, I saw Harry and Meghan. <gasps> You're like, Jen, what are you talking about? Megan's not there. Oh, oh, contraire, mon frere. <laughs> to quote Joey from Friends, oh, she's here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got it on video. But I'm just so glad you're here. I'm so excited. And I just wanted to bring you this coverage. I've, I've got a lot more to come. Don't worry. This is just the beginning. But um, also, I do want to explain. The reason I film it where it's kind of like weaving back and forth like this is because I am so not a fan of, there's so many people here, you guys, it's unbelievable, and everybody's filming. I'm not a fan of anybody putting a camera in anybody's face. I don't think that's right or fair. So you'll notice when people get close, I swerve because, you know, people are going to be in the background. It's fine, but I don't think, I don't want to put my camera in their face. So I just move. I just find that if I walk and kind of swerve my camera like this, it might look a little crazy in the filming, but it's, it's try to be, I'm trying to be respectful, right? I'm a guest in this country. So I'm trying to be respectful, but enough about that. Look at this background, you guys. I'm at Buckingham Palace, freaking out because I'm just so excited to be there. Um, so this was Thursday, again, this was this morning when we got here. And you can tell it's crowded, but not as crowded as, as we went back this evening. Not as crowded as then. So obviously the crowds are just unbelievably picking up. Everybody's excited. There's bunting everywhere. There's decorations. I'll show you all that too. Okay, so the atmosphere here, everybody is so excited. There are tents everywhere. Yep, you heard me right on that. Um, there are tents lined up alongside the road that leads up to Buckingham Palace. I believe I caught that on video. I'll try to show you that as well of people camped out to try to get a good spot to watch the coronation. Um, there's a ton of media everywhere, as you would expect. I tried to, I filmed that as well. You can actually see the crane or whatever that is in the background, the really tall thing, to get um, video of, of what all was going on. And there's tons of little like makeshift booths, booths that the media have set up to have their cameras and stuff ready to go for the big event. So here I am walking around and filming Buckingham Palace. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my God, this day was so beautiful. The weather was perfect. It was not hot, not cold. It was beautiful. And can you imagine my surprise as I'm walking around and I start to hear weirdness in the crowd? What was going on? What was the crowd reacting to? Well, the crowd's reacting to a lot right now because like I say, there are people coming and going. There's Every police officer you've ever seen, every armed, everybody that you've ever seen, um, of course, on, on guard. And anyway, so I just thought I had to do something with that. But no, you guys, take a look at what I got on video. You guys, it's Harry and Megan. <laughs> These actors were out there being Harry and Megan. He's holding spare. They have a bodyguard with them. They actually had a, it looked like a production crew or film crew with them. Are they actors from one of the <laughs> shitty Harry and Megan movies? I'm not sure, but I found it very funny. 
and she kept messing with her hair like that and they were kind of on each other and <laughs> I would say that's pretty uh pretty good casting and her dress is wrinkly just saying I think that's pretty good casting if you ask me but I just couldn't stop laughing there's a whole crowd out there like oh my god they weren't booing them which I was surprised but they weren't exactly cheering them either okay so then I wanted to show you these these are the tents that I was talking about the I don't know pods whatever where the media is setting up do you see how many there are how I mean just it's just so neat to see from the lighting to the to the rigs you can see up up high to get you know better camera coverage but it really is interesting to see how many security measures are in place um you'll see a lot of them wearing these vests everything is sectioned off and of course protected and i mean i actually feel super safe if <laughs> i saw them talking to people if you're even like blinking funny they are talking to you um oh interesting side note when we got here uh into the country there were people you know the whatever the customs whatever it's called where they they talk to you about coming into the country they actually made us pull up our hotel reservations and show them so that way we can prove that we're not staying on in the country or something i thought that was interesting they're definitely taking security measures very seriously for this as they should i totally get it this is a huge event and and um i don't know it's just fascinating to see to see all this and i like seeing the behind the scenes setup of it all i like seeing the tenting and <laughs> and uh, all the media attention around it as well we've seen a lot of i guess reporters from all over standing in front of their cameras and talking and then you have yahoos like me with my camera phone walking around you guys look at these flowers i'm just so obsessed with this country it's just the most beautiful thing the the flowers everywhere the decorations look at this they they've really done a great job um, I'm sure it's always gorgeous, but it, it just really does. It looks perfect for the day. I'm just so excited about Saturday. Um, okay, and then here I wanted to show you the clip of Charles, in case you haven't seen it. I'm going to play it once without me talking, and then I'm going to talk over and tell you what happened. Here we go. Okay, here we are, slowed down and zoomed in a little bit for effect so you can see it. So here's what was happening. You know, I walked all around Buckingham Palace, the outside, as you saw, and I was just picking up some of the cool moments and, and getting footage and stuff. And um, I wanted to cross across the way, but everything is very much blocked off in certain areas. You can only walk certain places, obviously, you know, security, you get it. Okay. So there's only one place you can cross this road in front of Buckingham Palace. And when a car comes through or a police officer or something, because lots of delivery trucks and everything else was coming back and forth, they block it off for the tourists. So you kind of have to just stand there and wait. So we were just about to cross and all of a sudden they block it off. And this police, you can see these, this police come forward and come through and you can see that they're directing cars of course they don't announce who it is or what's going on for safety but something's going on and oh my god there's king charles and i slowed it down here i zoomed it in and again i was so freaked out all of us were just so excited that i think i jumped up and down a little bit and so i didn't get a great image but you can kind of see here here he is in his official car and um yeah, he's in there and he's waving to people and you can hear the crowd around me. He goes, oh my God, it's King Charles. And everybody's so excited. You can see right there. There he is. I just couldn't even believe it. There he is waving. Um, I could not even believe it. I wish I could have gotten more clear video, but I was just so shocked that I had only been in London a few hours and I got to see King Charles. So there's that. Oh, I'm just thrilled. 
So again, here he is going by. So sorry I didn't get better, but there you go. There's his car. And I just could not even believe it. The, the crowd was cheering. Everybody was like, oh my God, they just weren't expecting it. And so they, um, yeah, I just, I just can't even believe how lucky I feel so lucky to have to see that and to have been there and to, to experience this, right? I mean, what are the odds? I just got to London and hey, there's King. I believe. All right, now I would like to show you Princess Anne. I just can't even believe I got to see Princess Anne. You know, if you know me at all, you know my channel. I love Princess Anne. I think she's one of the coolest royals or just coolest people. I really do. I really admire her hard work and appreciate so much I've heard about her. So here is my video. You can't hardly see her, but here's my video of Princess Anne and everybody realizing who it is and freaking out. So after we crossed the road that we were originally trying to cross, you know, when we saw Charles, um, we saw Princess Anne. I was just like, oh my God, I can see her through the window. That's amazing. She was waving and, and it was very sweet. And oh, I just couldn't even believe it. She's one of my favorites. So that was a huge bucket list thing for me to see her. And I... I'm dying to see Catherine and I know other channels got to see Catherine. I know she was out and about in London today. I have not seen her yet, so I can't wait. I'm dying to see her, but yeah, so I got to see King Charles, Princess Anne and kind of Harry and Meghan. Believe me, if I thought it was the real ones, I would have booted them. But <laughs> anyway, how cool is today? I'm so excited. Oh, I just can't even believe it. I feel like the luckiest girl in the whole world. But uh, again, I'm just getting my bearings. I'm going to do better. I'm going to bring you more coverage, and I'm so excited to do that. Uh, it, oh, I'm going to try to work on not swerving back and forth with my phone. I'm realizing I do that now. But anyway, I'm just so thrilled to be here. I can't believe I got to see Charles and Princess Anne my first couple hours in London. And um, we have so many more plans. I'm going to walk around and film some of the decorations and the bunting to show you i'm planning to go to it, it, it kind of depends on obviously whatever is the safest option for us but we're going to try to go to windsor and show you windsor and what's going on out there and then we are going to but you know if that changes that's okay i'll do something related to coronation and then of course we're going to bring you as much stuff from coronation as we can and I'm just so excited. Jay's so excited too. And what's funny is when Jay saw the Harry and Meghan actors, he just started saying to me, unconscious bias, it's unconscious bias. So <laughs> I'll get him on a video very soon. I'll definitely have him talking about coronation as well. But as always, I just can't thank you all enough for being here. I really appreciate all of you and I hope you feel my excitement as much as I do. I just, I can't believe it. I'm pinching myself because I get to be here. So again, thank you for being here with me. You're all here with me in spirit. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you have the best day ever. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Or should I say cheers? <laughs> I love that. Cheers. Bye.